They call me Cater. Cater Tot Salad. Why? <laughs> Ron Tater Salad White. Lyotis is trying to put on the bottom panels right there and this thing, you know, it came with some pretty nice little flat panels, most of which have been sitting outside. And Ben is working on the partition. We have definitely heard what your guys' comments were about the partition and believe me, I would prefer to drive it with the partition, most certainly. The bottom side of what we're going to do with our partition. Now the top side, we were looking at doing a clear polycarbonate. So this is obviously our template. This is just like eighth inch MDF. Um, the shift cables. Yeah. So I took them apart yeah. and I was just measuring the location because we're going to have to punch through the wall to, to get those to fit properly. It isn't going to be a, an absolute airtight wall, but we're trying to It'll be pretty good. It'll be pretty good. So now we had a conversation a little earlier here, and but basically air is going to take the path of least resistance, and you got to think of air like water. So this is pretty good. It's pretty nice and tight. We could even put like a molding a little bit on the side if we needed yeah, to. Yeah. So these side pieces we can kind of bend them in or trim them after, but I wanted to leave them long so it gets us, it fills as much of the side gap here as we possibly can. Um, and like I said, this is just a template, so there'll be things, you know, like I'm a little gappy right here. Yeah. So what I do is I just mark it, you know, and say, you know, add back a half inch, let's say. A little gap gappy. You little gappy. I was thinking we could probably just do a few fasteners onto here. I left a little lip mm -hmm. and then we'll cut, do little harness cutouts. That way either we could fasten it in there or it would just slide behind here. Yeah or something. I haven't really thought about that. Now, one thing that I wanted to address very quickly on that is that we're going to keep the, the polycarbonate part inside the hoop right here yeah. and outside the hoop. So I'm going to close this real quick here. I'm really, 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 really wanting to do some sort of scoop to direct airflow. Now, I mean, we need to have some sort of good airflow going in there. And we also have a plan for the roof. We'll get to that, but we do want to scoop some out here mainly on that side for induction. Yeah. So the turbo really doesn't have any good air. So we really want to try and design something going towards where the turbo is. If we have a flat plane going from right here, scooping air down into the turbo, I mean, that's going to be really good for virtually ambient air. I mean, we start with cooler air, we're going to end with cooler air. And this thing is generating a lot of heat, even going down the road. We're going to try and recraft this, which brings us to the next point we feel that this is going is is kind of getting deflected because of this we need something about yay big up here so this know. will be a flat panel here right mm -hmm. so you have a nice flat panel right in these seals and then you have a scoop i don't know maybe here look neat i guess it depends on what the mouth looks like what do you say lies lies is not approved no i like it i think it'll look awesome because then you have this big like a bulge in the roof almost power bulge a pool. yeah <laughs> oh, the things kids say. <laughs> the internet the internet's a kind, loving, welcoming place. So it's fine. <laughs> All right. So. All right. So on that though, that's not a bad idea. If we do something like that and it's flat, instead of this being the uh, entry, if the entry is right here, we can flatten this, and then we could have a little bit of a. Ducktail, whale tail. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Something like that. That wouldn't be bad. That would help knock off the air. This did not work. So I was suggesting with the polycarbonate, we go a little bit straighter, a little longer. I mean, if this doesn't work, we're going to keep trying until it does. So, oh, oh. All right, so guys, this is this began life as a Lotus Elise diffuser that was on my Miata, and uh, we're not repurposing it for this, but. Uh, this is just to get an idea of if we clean up the airflow. Here was another. Oh, we could use that C6 one. Oh, shoot. We got. That's a great idea. Laz, you're coming in so clutch. Where is that? Oh, Georgie. Man, George. Oh, my God. That was perfect. Right. It really does. I had that on my C6 Z06. Dang, Laz. I can't believe you just said that. We, we could probably tweak that a little bit. That looks really pretty good. So uh, some guys made this for me years ago. That was probably like seven years ago. Dude, that is sick. So I have a theory that a bunch of air was coming in in this area right here, hitting the engine and then tumbling. 
Uh, I don't know how true that is. We could figure it out once we start putting the other panels in there, but we're on that mission right now. That on the ground is gonna look pretty sick, dude. I was just trying to get rid of parts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find more than fit. Yeah, yeah. So there's definitely a lot of science behind that, but when I had that on my C6U6, even though that's not a lot of angle and it's not that big, it honestly felt like we put another 150 pounds or so in the back of the car at speed. It really did make the back of the car squat a whole bunch. All right, so guys, uh, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Motion Raceworks, and I see that Ben is wearing a shirt right now. And guys, if you are building any sort of race car stuff, or if it's just street car stuff, check out Motion Raceworks. They've got so many awesome race car products, and we are so happy to be able to work with them. All the cool parts. Yeah, I mean, all sorts of stuff for turbos, fabrication. Check out their Instagram too. Oh yeah. Like tech tips on there. Yeah, Doug does really good with that, yeah. honestly. I can't even keep up with how much he puts out. They got a burnout car, it is pretty wild. It's got like eight tractor flaps on it. It's so cool to watch them all go like da -da 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 -da. Check them out, man. So I have a splitter for the Miata, and Eliza's grabbing a new you can find trying to throw this on this thing. <laughs> look, at the, look at the lip on the front of this. This is down. Ha 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 ha. Did you say weight plate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a hell of a ride if you had like a handlebar up there. <laughs> yeah. In the meantime, Liz is trying to figure out how to make this work. I think we got it. Ah, I see you made some reliefs there for the pedals. That should clean up up until the fuel tank. And then from the fuel tank, we still got another plastic panel out there, Laz? Yeah, there's one more. Man, I had a good old time eating some pistachios watching Ben craft that thing. And the fact that they're racing next door, that is a very good sign. Things are starting to get a little bit more back to normal-ish. Okay that actually should create somewhat of a venturi drawing the heat from the radiator out should yeah so guys it has been on our plan since the beginning of this whole project move this forward probably minimum two inches maybe as much as four inches but bring that whole wheel forward a little bit but the steering on this is pretty straightforward we can beef up these tie rods these are just little guys and this is all just stamps oh that's you know. cute it's like a little pikachu there it is all right, so we're just seeing how everything goes in and fits. We got this panel back up in there. We can have this thing protrude maybe about four or five inches or so. That's really gonna keep a very minimal amount of air from coming back, Laz. So there's been many times where I've said in the past, I was like, if you're only looking at a car aerodynamically from the top, then you're really only half looking at the car. There is a lot to be said about the bottom and I'm really actually so happy that this thing has so many flat panels already. It saves us a bunch of work. I do want to try and do this on our S10 project, but we have done this on a number of other things before. On my Miata, I had a very low top speed with the car, and we did a whole bunch of aerodynamics and screwing around with it and had really not too much of an idea of what we were doing. But we basically took the car's top speed up what I believe was somewhere near about 20 miles an hour. And at 100 miles an hour before, the car was not stable at all. Once we put all the aero stuff in there, at 130 or 140 miles an hour, the car felt loads more stable. You could do a lane toss at 120, whereas before, that would have been, quite frankly, just a bad idea. Oh, that's looking sexier. The inner ricer is really coming out in there. I'm loving it, though. The inner ricer is strong. So the inner, yes, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. I think about kicking that up just a little bit. Yeah, we can do that. We can get a nice break on it. Oh, dude. Does yep. that look freaking mean or what? <laughs> the whole bottom side of this car is, was already just crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like it. We we'll bring this up, nice and tight. Brandon, are you sure you want to go? You don't want to go. Come on, we're doing nerdy freaking aero stuff. Come on, <laughs> check this out. So we got to tie this one into there. Then we'll have our flat piece coming from here. To we can just go to the bottom of the edge of the cradle. Yeah. And then just overlay this on top of it. Yeah, just sandwich it. Sandwich. Oh. <laughs> All right, so burnout car first. We've done some burnouts. We know it can do burnouts. Wheelies, we need to execute. It needs to happen soon. Right. Willing, to, willing to break it, you know. 
Well, if we just put a, what if we just put a new front end in it with big front brakes? Right, but I mean, realistically, those brakes should go up front because. Yeah, but then we're gonna have to like. The rear should end up going in here. We still gotta recycle. I'm not buying new stuff, stuff here. Yeah. Oh, Lass is, dude, where? Lass is coming up with, stuff. yeah, he There's is. Heavy BMW seats in there, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's too heavy. Lass has come through with some crazy stuff today. Oh, that would look, that's insane looking. That's just mean, evil, and wicked looking. But hey, we can cut it. All right, well, hey, we're hitting it little by little. Piece by piece. Day by day. Uh, we all need to have like our own one. Yeah. <laughs> Fine as I never do this. Got a traced out piece right there. So we got one template, two templates, and the third. Well, this is actually a final prototype. We had this on our ATSV. That was a manual transmission twin turbo V6. Very unusual to me when it came out, and we had the fastest one in the world. You guys got to see a clip of that. But this was used on that car. So this was kind of a muffler cover and cleaning up the air under the bottom side there. I think we're gonna repurpose that. The one that we have over there is much thicker. This is gonna be lighter. Ben's on it already. So that was this side, so we're going back. That is a nice looking piece. On another note, we have some broken areas here and we're just talking about zip tying that like stitch zip tying we've done that a whole bunch on our miata you guys probably see that a whole lot on drift cars all right we got some dyno tuning starting in a little bit here but for the moment i so want to see this thing on the ground this thing is really really solid last stitch that up like we were talking about right there made a little bracket and got some nut certs in the front we're way more solid than what we were. Dude, let's drop it, let's drop it. And aromatic. You're a precision instrument of speed and aromatics. Coming in strong with the dad jokes. It was a shifter target. Oh my gosh, man. Oh yeah. Might settle a little bit. All right, well, ultimate test. Stand on it. Gotta walk on it. <laughs> Dude, this is getting meaner by the day. Mean, mean cool. taste machine right there, buddy. <laughs> cool. Well, on that note, guys, we're going to cut out for the night. We're going to come back tomorrow and knock some more stuff out. What is that? Oh, does that so go that wraps that here oh, shoot, and this way, so we're just going to take it off right there. Okay. And then we'll be able to work off of the nice sheet metal. All right, so Laz just saw a little something pretty cool on Instagram and pretty cool idea. So let's show them. And we just took these little welding wire that we had all that set up there. And so this is going to kind of go something like so, like that, and then carry out. And this helps get the, uh, the sort of, plan out of your head and yeah. where I can see it. So we're kind of scooping the air like that, and that's going to go a straight shot down to the turbo. So we're trying to funnel more air in. We'll start to tape this and get an idea. We're basically building a skeleton and then working backwards. Skeleton, then skin, then muscles, huh? Sounds good, more fiberglass. Maybe we can get a big old coupler to go down in there and funnel down into that, but we don't know yet. But point is we need to get airflow coming in and going that direction right here. We're blocking this all off, so. This used to be our old, I don't know if we want to call it a tailgate, but I always wanted to keep this thing just for that, probably that one little logo. Certainly doesn't weigh much. <laughs> so if we want to go stealth mode, we'll be able to have this. Is that what you're making? Yeah, just for just for fun, you know. Like oh, that looks cool. But at the same time, this is really going to limit the amount of airflow that is traveling back there as well, you know. So. Let's test fit it. We just go throw it in there. Now with the bottom part too. Oh, we got the bottom part there too, George. Check that out. Look, go ahead, Cooper. Just <laughs> go ahead. I just wanted to show you how little. Those contact patch you actually need to well Jeremy in a burnout contest <laughs> <laughs> okay Coop you guys seem like you're having a good time I figured I'd show up well let's cut this thing up here George so we're roughly marking rough cut at best so we've got the skin of that we've got an idea of where our bars are hitting right there and our exhaust so this kind of looks like a snowman very unlike that actually <laughs> Thank you. 
bit more we gotta take out on the bottom side right there. We're definitely better around the bars. You want me to help? I brought my own shirt off, Will. <laughs> you know how to drive that thing? Let's see about this. It should be getting better by the minute. Yeah, it definitely boogered that up there when we, uh, however, that's definitely gonna need to be bigger. Yeah. But I guess that will make up for my mistakes. Trim ring, trim actually, ring? we do have a trim ring, I think. I think. Ring. Good old motion race for the trim ring. We, we cut it a little bit funny in a way but I think that we'll still be able to save it. This is, so guys, we're using a Motion Race Works trim ring, and this thing really cleans up where you booger up, kind of like what we did. I mean, this is gonna be like stealth mode. This is not something I wanna roll around on all the time, but. But it's not that bad. It's not, it's, it's not, it's pretty cool. I mean, <laughs> law enforcement concern. It's pretty cool. All right, we're getting close. We're gonna probably cut that straight down and maybe radius over. Um, but the cone from where this guy is right there might, oof, we might have an issue. We might still melt it though. Cause again, that thing goes way wide right there. As Lass is now working on a particular, very odd shaped piece on our scoop. We made a dog neck cone. Yeah, it really is. It's a cone of shame right there. On Ben's front of things, we're trying to make the tabs that are going to pretty much hold all the partition or the firewall. Yeah, just a couple so, little tabs and we'll be able to fasten. We could be able to get a bolt head through the back. We'll be able to do one here, one there, one there. So it'll be four total. Got and then you've the got bottom. the bottom. Yep. So that is basically our fixed point right there that is gonna slide in there yep. and bolt in there. Right. Teamwork's right make the bolt. dream work. Sometime around our Uncle Sam project, somebody sent this trim molding in, so I wanted to say thank you very much. And Laz just reiterated a very common sentiment around here. I am a little bit of a hoarder, and we don't throw stuff away. So thank you very much. We found a home for this trim molding, and it's all around right there on the smart car. So thank you very much. Well, the whole point of this was for the mud flaps. And that's what I was kind of excited about. about I mean, look at them. They have a smart car on Yeah. Them. All right, so now the other configuration, though, is that we can take that and ditch that thing all together. And then those mud flaps go right in there. Yeah, we'll just take a little massaging. You kind of said that very like Christopher Walken, like <laughs> needs a little massage. A little bit. Gotta have the chrome. Yeah, people look at this thing and be like, dang, he optioned the K series. Oh, rather and the be homeless than chromeless. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't ditch the chrome, but at the end of the day, your child there, Jeremy. Like Pretty sweet. All right, well, dude, that looks really good. You got eight bolts in there. That is really solid, man. Yep. That's gonna do poly that, on the top. It's gonna be banging. Trimmed up. Looking good, buddy. Looking good. Mm hmm. Yeah, we should probably cut off those end pieces there, but it looks you really can cool, cut man. It off like that. Mm hmm. All right, so we're trying to find a way to fasten this other than just zip ties, either drill a hole or we got push pins. You know, the expanding type, the OEM, GM style ones. Yep, with the, yep. You yeah, do that. Little push pins we can put in there. But what I'm saying is we could remove it very quickly, very simply with a couple bolts and that yeah. comes with it and cut the zip ties, we're done. All right, and as, as you said, adult scissors. Yeah. You could probably run with those though. I don't, How about I don't, it? Yeah, I don't know if I want to, but. All right, so trim in the other side. You want me to do that? Sure. <laughs> so Ben just redid the uh, template here, man. This thing looks spot on. Yeah, the other one was a little chewed up, so we just made made it nice, nice with that clear. It can scratch easily, so so you don't want to handle it. The better. So if we just cut it once and it's going to be perfect fit, that's the best situation for it. Or, uh, MDF. Eighth inch MDF. Yeah. Yeah, they had a pile of stuff they were just trying to offload, or they're going to throw it away. So I've got a bunch of template material. 
All right, so we pulled a lot of stuff on the inside right there. George is actually painting that. We're gonna paint those posts right there, kind of clean that up. Lives and Ben have been hitting this guy up real quick here. So we've got our panel. This is our test one right here, and it looks to fit pretty good. What? What? Nothing. Carry on. Did you, did you miss it? That'd be cool. Cool, man. Oh, you missed it. No. So it's incredibly important how we shape this as well as the next area because we want to be able to grab a large amount of air and taper down and speed it up. It is hard for it to make that angle right there. So we're working with three different materials here. We've got this really thin PVC stuff right here. We've got this MDF, right? So we're just making stuff out of this. That was what we were planning on using as a template. And then we have, and then we have this stuff as our material right there. So it depends on what the job is. A little later, I'm probably gonna try and make the scoop out of the PVC stuff first, and then maybe move it to that. That is more difficult to work with as far as shaping. However, when it's shaped, it's there. It should be very strong and rigid. So I do wanna be able to make that scoop out of that, but I'll be working on it. The B-Bond is gonna be good for a permanent roof, but at the moment, we're just trying to slap this together for the weekend and it's getting dark out, so. We got a lot of ground to cover in a short amount of time, so. If it rains, it's gonna get. We might make this part out of the PVC, but we still have a lot to figure out how we're gonna make this all work, but come along for the ride. Looking good, brother. Looking real good. Nice. And that thing went right in. The template worked awesome. So is it the moment of truth? We can like totally... No, I think I take it out first. Looking good. All right, so we peeled off the one side. Just kind of going around our perimeter. And we have... How many to put in? One, two, three, four, five? We got a few. Okay. All right, so blow out the middle. Ready to go. All right. I'm already scratching it. Yep. Oh. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, dude, that honestly looks so much better painted than that. Dude, that's gonna be so sweet. Can we see through it? Inside of it. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Wow, the S10 doesn't even have one of these yet. <laughs> Banana brains, huh? Yeah. You can put little select little pieces of that trim in there. I think we're gonna be fine, dude. Yeah, like around here. Yeah. I mean, ideally, we could have one here that's gonna, you know, fill the void. Wow, from this side. I'll let get the full effect. Oh no, just go for it, man. Here. Oh, yeah? Oh. yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> that looks great. Yeah, it does. That is really cool. Like last night, it's being scratched as we look at it. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. awesome. It's gonna be like a, a, a toddler more. between like glass right there. You're gonna get all like the spit off of the freaking blow off. It, <laughs> it looks like, amazing. Oh, that thing's probably gonna get yeah, it's <laughs> <so> dirty. <laughs> Hot That's breath and stuff on it. Right there. Yeah, That's so cool, man. Cool. Looks yeah, really, really cool. awesome. I'll keep the heat out. Great idea. That Most looks poorly, so keep much it better. Protected from hot liquids. And oh, forgot to mention out. to you. Hey, we got the right switch in here. So we can turn that oh, thing on. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we did that like this morning. I think probably before I even got here. Hey. Yeah, dude, I want to turn that junk on. I can't wait to use it this weekend. Yeah. Oh, did you feel the shifter yet? Just make sure it goes through all that. Because we re it up. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine, bro. So we kind of ran out of time and I got the car home again. So this is going to be V2 of trying to get some good aero. All right, guys. So we did put an air scoop on that side. That one is a little bit aggressive. And a little bit later, we'll fire this thing up 
And we didn't have all the couplers at the meantime, but we just basically got it up and functioning. So we're scooping air from the outside going into the inlet, which is a five inch going down to a four. You shut this thing off and as you're sitting in here and your head is right there, you shut it off and you can hear the turbo right in your ear. It is a pretty awesome little feature there. We went for a very, very brief ride, uh, my son and I, and this works fantastic. There is no exhaust inside, there's no heat inside. It is working amazing. So now we still want to be able to do our winged windows so that we have that type of thing going funneling air right into the driver and passenger, funneling good air up in there. That side right there works incredibly effective right there. Uh, I sat here with a blower and kind of blew air all around just trying to see how effective it was. And there is a very substantial amount of air that gets caught in that just that small little area. So if we look at the profile there versus the profile there, there is a very substantial difference. So we're gonna work on trying to build the top, uh, my kids and I here. So if we have the scoop here, we probably are gonna generate possibly a little bit of lift. But we're gonna try and offset that a little bit later. So we're working on that. I do appreciate you know some of the brain power that you guys are sharing with us because not all of our ideas are good. And some of you guys got some amazing ideas. So thank you very much for that. So we gotta make all of this stuff right here. Some of this is gonna be very quick and easy. Some of it is not, but let's knock it out. I'm probably still going to end up using this piece though, but we'll see. Super quick and dirty, just making it right now. We don't have the factory smart car carpet anymore. Uh, I don't think, I don't remember exactly how that was. We've definitely thrown out a lot of stuff. So we're one thing down though. So one other thing off the list, cut those guys. My son got that all straightened out. So easy squeezy. We got two off the list. Battery cover. We got this piece traced out out of cardboard. Liam and I cut that thing so it should be able to have this side funnel in on the back side of the mirror. And I went a little too far there, so I'm gonna add that piece back in. And this part is for the relief of the mirror. So let's cut that thing out. All right, so that little curvature right there, I think that's gonna go right towards the driver. And let's copy that on the other side. I can't wait to try this thing out and see what this thing's gonna do. I've been in a number of other race cars that guys have had this and it really works incredibly good. Just interested in these neat little projects of where we can probably make something happen out of nothing. All right, so we have a totally different style of what we were planning on doing since last time. This right here should be fairly sturdy. Uh, seems to be pretty good. Now what we're trying to do is creating our structure, then we're gonna be able to, well, effectively make our, our bones and then our skin. So we're, we're pretty close here. I, I really like the way that that flows a lot better. I think we're gonna have, I, I've kind of funneled that in such a way that I think that it should be a pretty nice funnel. My son Liam cut up a bunch of these right here. Kind of use those to further support that and make that a little bit stronger. So I'm gonna start cutting those next. All right, so as we're making that curve, we see that purple line right there. I think that we're probably gonna need to cut that down right there. But with these pieces, with what Liam provided right there, we're just gonna find until that meets our radius for what we want. Tape it in, same thing, just moved it right up. Tape it into the radius of what we want, and we're set. All right, so now we got our total framework is set. Pretty pleased with the way that that turned out right there. We should be able to, somehow, I think we're gonna kinda tape this cardboard as we go and be able to fix it. It's kind of a, learning as we go type process here. All right, well, let's be honest. It's made out of cardboard. What's the best that you could possibly expect? However, I think it did come out fairly clean. This is about as best we can do with the time that we have. We really kind of wanted to make a wing and separate right there. However, we just don't have the time. We're trying to get a little ride in before it gets a little too dark. But let's check it out from the front here. Might not be most perfectly symmetrical, but Pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see how this works. All right, so we just had a little itty bitty shakedown run and we're gonna check the effectiveness of our intercooler.
Oh, that's so much better. Definitely working well. Like, we just pounded it pretty good, didn't we? Mm hmm. This, this is this is so so much fun. Let's go for a ride here. All right, so we got a little bit of a casualty here. This is uh, hopefully this just stays, but we'll see. It's definitely scooping, but this tore right there. So we're gonna hope that 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 does all right. If not, we're gonna pick it up and take it home and do it again. But it's definitely working. All right, so we just got to mess around with the guy with an M3 real quick here, just having some fun. And he's like all getting sideways and whatever. We freaking rip it. This guy doesn't have anywhere near the power. And then Christian just put his hand up top. He's like, hey, it's gone. And I'm like, no. So we got to find our scoop it somewhere on Dale Baber here. All right, we found it. I think we just had about as much fun as we could have this That was awesome. That is so cool. All right, so all in all, that didn't melt. That's it. Well, maybe it's a little soft right there. Hold on. No, we're good. We're good. Sorry. <sighs> Crazy amount of heat. This is blocking it off pretty good. And the intercooler stayed really, really cool all the way up until we lost our roof. So this thing rips so hard it is so much fun i want to share it with like everybody well guys thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you really enjoyed the video i love little projects like this where we're optimizing every little thing and we're making things so much more efficient and you guys have had some absolutely awesome suggestions so cater tot is getting better every single day and i'm absolutely loving it if you guys are not part of our instagram please follow us on instagram check that out there's a lot of little interesting stuff that we throw in there that is out before some of the videos come out so i hope you guys will check that out also we have our cater tot shirt which is available for pre-order and those will be going out in a couple of weeks thank you guys so much for your support because we would not be able to do what we do without your guys help so god bless you thank you so much for watching and oh hold on I almost forgot here my song recommendation for this episode is Reach for the Sky by Social Distortion. Hope you guys enjoy. See you next episode.